How is it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review. Today we're gonna to be reviewing this 2022 Volvo XC60 Artisan. Now before we actually get into today's video, I did just wanna give a quick shout out to Smythe Volvo of Summit, New Jersey for letting me review this brand new XC60 today. I'll leave a link down in the description below to uh, their website and you can check out their current inventory. Obviously they have a lot of uh, new Volvos such as this one, but they also have a wide variety of used cars as well. Now getting back to this 2022 XC60R design, this is actually the B6R design. So it's pretty much like the top of the line trim that you can get for this brand new uh, XC60. And I know you guys can't really tell on this side, but if we come over to this side of the vehicle, you can see kind of like the brand new like stick on foam that they use to deliver these cars in. And also in the interior as well, there's a bunch of like plastic and stuff actually still on the car from delivery. So this car is pretty much just brand new right from uh, Volvo. But staying on the exterior for now, I really love the designs of these new XC60s of course obviously the R design and with the R design you do have the different style uh, front grills both the upper grills and like and the lower front grill uh, it looks really really cool and there's just a, a bunch of like subtle features that really come with these new R designs you also do have a higher gloss window trim on the exterior and then a couple of the interior features which we'll talk about in a bit are a different steering wheel, different shifter, and more sport focused seats. I also really love the exterior paint color of this XC60. This is called Silver Dawn, and it's uh, it kind of like, I guess, a more of a boring color compared to like some of their more bright colors, but it still offers a really nice metallic finish. Another great feature of the R Design cars are, of course, the different wheels that come with them. And these are the 21 inch uh, wheels that are specific to the new R Design XC60s. And they are actually wrapped all the way around in Pirelli Scorpion Zero all season tires that are 255 by 40 R21s. Now, this mid size SUV also does clock in right at 4,280 pounds for its curb weight. So basically just right under 4,300 pounds, which uh, really isn't, you know, super heavy, but uh, it's right where you would expect it to be really like basically just right around like 4,000 pounds. But even though it is over 4,000 pounds, it really doesn't handle like it. Uh, the suspension is all obviously uh, independent all the way around. And this car does have a, a double wishbone suspension as opposed to a more traditional kind of McPherson uh, style strut suspension. So uh, the double wishbone suspension definitely does make it handle a lot better as well, which obviously just makes it a lot more fun to drive. Now, moving on to the drivetrain of this brand new 2022 XC60, underneath the hood, you can see the two liter uh, turbocharged double overhead cam four valve per cylinder engine that this thing does come with. Now, even though this uh, does have the, you know, the internal combustion engine that we're seeing right here, it actually is a mild hybrid SUV. So if you don't know what uh, basically a mild hybrid means, it basically means that it's just not a plug-in hybrid. So it actually does have, I, I believe, two electric motors inside of it. And basically they don't really like add a lot of power. I think they only add like 13 horsepower uh, to this internal combustion engine, but it does offer a, a better, a, of course, better gas mileage and also off the line when you're first starting up the car and, you know, accelerating, it, it uh, does provide a little bit better feeling, you know, compared to just like a normal internal combustion engine. But you can see like all around the exterior, there's no way to plug it in or anything. Uh, basically how it actually charges, if you might be wondering is, whenever your foot's not on the gas it basically that's how it charges like it's a regenerative uh, system something that i saw very similar to the uh, karma rivero gt that i uh, filmed a little while back but yeah anyone interested in kind of the new hybrids or ev uh, this technically is a hybrid all of volvo's new cars are hybrids but even though again it's not even, even though it's not a plug-in hybrid don't let it fool you it does use both uh you know gas and electric power i guess you could say so that combination actually does give this car 200 and 95 brake horsepower at 5,400 RPMs and a peak 310 foot-pounds of torque at 2,100 RPMs. So 
uh, you know, just right around 300 for both of those numbers and with like around like a 4,300 uh, pound curb weight. Uh, it's definitely not the fastest SUV out there by any means, but it can definitely, you know, do, do what needs to be done. It can get you from point A to point B. And if you need to accelerate into traffic, uh, it definitely could as well. Now going off what I said earlier, this SUV does have an independent suspension. So I feel like it's pretty obvious, but the, it is all wheel drive and does deliver that power through a eight speed shiftable automatic transmission. All right guys, so now moving on to the interior. I really, really love the interior of this XC60, of course, because it is an R design. But honestly, they didn't really uh, change much from the you know 2021 models to the 2022s. But you can see uh, the different kind of style uh, steering wheel with the R design. You can see, of course, the different uh, style uh, shifter as well. I do really like it. Again, like it, it looks really, really luxurious. And starting it up right here, you of course don't even hear the uh, internal combustion engine at all because it's not even on yet. It doesn't even kick in until you actually go into drive, which is really cool. It is very quiet on the startup. And one thing that I do really like about uh, you know the Volvos is this new kind of touchscreen display. This has been around for a few years now, but uh, as of recently, well, as of this year uh, model, uh, they changed over from the Apple CarPlay to the new uh, Google system. And so you have Google Maps integrated right here with your navigation. And then as far as entertainment's concerned, you can have the regular AM, FM radio. You can log into your Spotify. You can actually do YouTube music too. And then you can also connect your phone via Bluetooth. And then like I just basically said, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth as, as far as like texting and calling is concerned. So you can do all that stuff without being, you know, distracted on the road and then of course my probably my favorite thing is you have a car status thing right here so if you click on it you can see all four uh, tire pressure and you can see the green check marks check mark so it's pretty much all good and then you can go into service and it basically tells you when the next time uh, you should send your Volvo in to get serviced but also if you click this oil right here it actually gives you an oil uh, gauge which is really really cool I've, i haven't really seen that in any of the other vehicles that i've reviewed so far but it's very similar to the, like the fuel gauge uh you can see the uh, you know it's all the way up and it's green which means it's fine and of course this thing should be fine because if we go into the odometer yeah it only has a hundred miles on the odometer so uh but i i do think that it's really cool that you know volvo actually does have that in there and then going into the settings, you can actually go into the different uh, driving modes. You can activate off-road mode, uh, steering assist, which I actually like to keep off. I like to keep off the lane keeping assist too, just cause I feel like it's really weird uh, when you're actually driving. Uh, you can also make the steering uh, wheel feel firm, which is pretty cool. And then it still does have all the different drive modes, such as like dynamic mode, eco mode, and all of that stuff. Also this SUV, since I guess it is the B6, uh, does come equipped with a steering wheel warmer as well as a heat warmer and also air conditioned seats as well. So I think that is really, really cool. And just looking at it, again, it looks really, really luxurious. You can see the front seats. Obviously I'm sitting in one right now, but they, they really, really do hold you in and you have plenty of space in that second row back there. But now without further ado guys, I'm going to take this thing on a drive and show you guys my initial reactions. All right, guys, so now I'm actually driving this brand new 2022 Volvo B6 a Recharge or XC60 B6 Recharge. I know it's a mouthful, but uh, yeah, this thing is pretty much like the top of the line when it comes to brand new uh, XC60s. Right now, I know that the main SUV that Volvo is really trying to sell and market that is fully electric is the XC40 uh, full electric recharge or pure electric recharge. And that is the one I did a review on about like uh, a week or two ago. Now I'll leave the link to that on top of the video too. But honestly, like when it comes to, I guess, comparing the two, uh, really like, as far as like actually like drivability, like obviously the other one's fully electric, so it's going to be a lot, you know, weirder compared to this. Whereas this is a little bit more traditional with the, you know, main power source being the uh, turbo four cylinder engine, the internal combustion engine in it. But as far as like luxury and uh, creature comforts are concerned, uh, they're pretty much 
identical. You know, this new XC60 as well as the, you know, new uh, pure electric XC40. But taking corners with this thing, I mean, you could definitely feel how well it handles. I feel like it, it, I'm really a broken record when it comes to this Volvo lineup because pretty much all of the modern Volvos have, you know, independent double wishbone suspensions and they're, most of them are all all wheel drive. So like th they all handle really, really well. So if you're looking for, you know, a very safe a family vehicle, uh, this, you know, this is definitely the way to go. Also, when you're, you know, going from a stop, uh, like a dead stop, you can kind of feel a little bit of those, you know, hybrid motors working. Again, it's not a lot, and for most people, I feel like it's not really too noticeable, but it definitely provides a, you know, different feeling compared to just a traditional, you know, normal internal combustion engine vehicle that, you know, only runs off, you know, that internal combustion engine. With this eight-speed automatic tra uh, transmission, the shifts are very, very smooth. Uh, it's not really super jerky, and I, I do know that you know the gentleman that I talked to at the dealership. He does, he did say that the actual like electric motors have something to do with the you know quickness of the shifting as well too. But the acceleration on this car is very, very smooth. And if I pull the shifter back once and pop it into the manual mode, I can actually shift it uh, by going to the left or the right with the shifter myself. And even like, you know, shifting this thing myself and going into corners and everything, it, it feels very, very smooth. I know it's a brand new, you know, SUV, so it should feel smooth, but uh, man, automatic transmissions have definitely come a long way because if you take a car, you know, 20, 30, even 10 years ago, and you kind of look at that, or most of those automatic transmissions compared to the ones that we have now, uh, they're just so quick nowadays, even in kind of normal cars like this new Volvo. Yeah, and like I previously stated, it this thing brakes very well, handles corners, you know, you can get the sensation of, you know, driving fast and really pushing this car without really being dangerous at all. I mean, it's not like, you know, some of the vehicles that I've driven on the channel, it's definitely not like my Mustang. <laughs> you know, uh, it's there's no hesitation. There's really no, you know, oversteer or understeer with this thing. It's very, very predictable and you just know where it's gonna be and how it's you know gonna react. Now on top of that, I do feel like this is common sense because again, it is a Volvo, but uh, this new XC60, our design does of course have a five star safety rating. So this is something very safe. If you have a new driver or even if you wanna get something you know really safe for yourself, uh, this is something that has been very proven from a company that has been proven over, you know, I don't know how many decades that, you know, Volvo has been at the forefront of safety features and, you know, making sure pretty much that their vehicles are one of, if not the safest ones on the road. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much just gonna wrap it up for today. If I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know what you guys think about this new XC60 R design. But like always, thank you all for the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.